Hi all and welcome to a new video. In this specific video I want to talk about how to actually run projects using Blink code. If you remember, I made a previous video two weeks ago in which I discussed how to edit code files or any other type of files for that matter using Blink code. Since then, I have been speaking with a representative from Blink and he showed me how we are actually able to also run projects or files using Blink code in combination with either Gitpod or with code server on Raspberry Pi. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I will start by showing how to connect with Blink code to gitpod.io and how we can run files there. I already have an account here, so I'm gonna continue connecting with Git repository. You can also make an account, it's free, it's easy. So as you can see, I already have everything configured here and if I go under projects I already have the project configured and I can definitely open it and when I open it I have a URL here as you can see to the gitpod.io now I can already run this in the browser but as you can see it doesn't look that pretty we have the browser bar this can be improved by using blink code if I'm gonna go to blink code and I'm gonna type code and the gitpod URL then I'm gonna connect connect to gitpod via blink code I'm gonna connect again with github I'll do all the steps that we did before close this tab manually and I can open my workspace and now as you can see I don't have any more URL bar from the browser or anything else and I have full integration with the keyboard provided by blink code so once I'm here of course as you can see I just released the hash table video and we have here my class that I can even actually run and it's the same for Python I have my Python file and now if I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say Python 3 minus minus version to see if Python 3 is installed I have it installed I'm gonna say Python 3 and data structures hash tables Python PL PL underscore hash map and as you can see I can run files so with the help of Blink code and gitpod.io I can actually run files and edit files with blink code and I get all the keyboard support once again and everything that I would get running code inside blink let's do command W to exit this window and now I want to discuss about the second way of connecting from blink code to code server and that is via Raspberry Pi once again I leave in the comments below a link to a video where I configure Raspberry Pi with iPad and I configure code server on Raspberry Pi and as you remember the way I was connecting to code server on Raspberry Pi was via a browser shortcut I had this browser shortcut here and I was connecting via it to my code server on Raspberry Pi now this is not fully ideal because once I want to run things as you can see here I get this keyboard integration here which is a bit weird it moves my window up it is not really ideal for me anyway you have the iPad screen which is small with that window popping up it makes it even smaller so in order for me to connect using blink code to my raspberry pi i have to do two steps first is to create a tunnel to the raspberry pi and that is because blink are waiting for the entitlement from apple to be able to access the browser and once that is done we can directly do code and then the url to code server but because we cannot do that now we will first create a tunnel and for that we use ssh minus cell i want to forward the port 8080 i'm gonna use local host i want to connect to port 8080 on my raspberry pi and i'm gonna say here pi which is the user at the address of raspberry pi which is 105501 you're gonna have to add the password for your pi user default i think it's raspberry and now i am tunnel using command t i'm gonna open a new tab here and now all i have to do is say code 
http localhost 8080 and I will open code server in Blink code. And now as you can see, if I go and start typing things, I have again full keyboard integration as Blink code provides. I won't have any small windows popping up, any weirdness, and I can use the full screen. And if I run, I can even run files using Blink code and code server hosted on my own Raspberry Pi. So this is just a short video that I wanted to do because I find it quite interesting and I also felt after the talk I had with the Blink code representative that I didn't fully show you all the features that you can actually take advantage of by using Blink code. Now I think it's much more clear and I think that you can see that in my opinion the only way to code on the iPad is using Blink code. Of course you can host your code however you want either on the Raspberry Pi either on gitpod.io both are extremely good solutions just to remember that gitpod.io requires that you have internet connection at all times if you're gonna use your Raspberry Pi you won't need to have an internet connection. I really hope that you found this video informative and you actually enjoyed it. If you did or if you have any suggestions please take a moment to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video as it helps with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can benefit from this course. Also please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to receive notifications when the next video will be released. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.